Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Today I'll be going over the input lag issue that a lot of iMac 5K users have been experiencing when trying to live stream on OBS's platform. And although all of these settings might work very well on my system, they may not work on your system due to hardware restraints. As you can see, I've pretty much decked out this iMac, so if your system isn't as robust as mine, I'll show you what settings you need to change in-game and on the OBS platform to be able to hopefully resolve the issue for you. So to get started, make sure you download OBS's most recent software update, 0.14.2, and we'll jump right away into the settings. In the settings panel, we'll only be going over two of the tabs, output and video, because those are the ones that are applicable to what we're trying to do. If you're setting up OBS for the first time and you want to know how to set the streaming service up, just go onto YouTube and type in OBS streaming setup and then whichever um, whichever streaming service you're using and there are plenty of videos out there that'll teach you how to do that. So to get started go into go into your output tab and change your output mode from simple to advanced and that'll open up this whole window of additional settings that you can choose from. Some of the biggest changes that you need to make are the encoder which you need to change from X264 to Apple VTH264 hardware encoder and also rescale output to 1920 by 1080 and the reason why we're doing this is because there is no service out there that currently streams in, in 5k and I don't even think YouTube you can watch YouTube videos in 5k I think the highest video quality you can watch YouTube is 4k and even then it takes a lot of effort from your computer and from your network pr provider to be able to screen capture what you're playing and then send that across the internet in 4K resolution. So the next best thing is to downgrade from from 5K to 1920 by 1080 and we'll go from there. If for example you don't have a um, if your hardware isn't as powerful as my hardware change this to uh, 1280 by 720 and um, see how that works for you and if that still doesn't work then downscale it again to whatever the next lowest quality is I'm not sure and I'm sorry I haven't done the research on that um, other than that just make sure these options down here are the same this is through trial and error um, I think the bitrate has something to do with your network provider so if you're not experiencing any input lag with these settings you can change your bitrate and make it a little bit higher maybe that gives you a little bit better of a stream on the um, on the viewers end. Uh, next thing we're going to go to is the video tab here and make sure you have your base canvas resolution set to the 5k resolution and again down here you'll be changing this resolution to 1920 by 1080. Um, again if your hardware isn't as strong as mine is do the 720 option 1280 by 720 and actually if you can't find it from the drop down menu you can just type it in yourself both here and in the output where is it down here well, let me jump back into video um, the downscaling filter um, this kind of reduces the quality of the video or what what you're streaming out to people so bilinear just drastically reduces the quality of the video on the on the viewers end and um, this option the 32 sample option uh, kills your computer's input lag. It just it just obliterates it. You're you're gonna be experiencing a lot more input lag when you choose this option. So just leave it in the middle. This works very very well. Also change your um, if it's not set to 60 FPS, change your um, resolution or your FPS setting to 60, and this should work just fine. After that, hit OK, and we'll jump back into setting up your scenes and your sources. So moving right along. In order to set up a you know, video game capture, you actually need to have a video game running in the background before you move on to the next step. So in my case right now I have Counter-Strike Go running, and now I can set up the next few steps. Uh, under Scenes, hit Plus, and Scenes could be, um, you can have a few different scenes up. Uh, you can have a, a game capture scene, or you can have a um, web browser capture scene. Um, and, and a few other things depending on what you're trying to do. Um, in this case it's just going to be a game capture. Click OK. That's weird. I'll just name it Capture 1. Alright. Uh, next thing you need to do is click on the plus icon under Sources and this will tell 
OBS which source you're trying to pull from. I'm going to name it CSGO because that's the game that I'll be playing. Uh, the first thing you need to do is hit inject and then under applications find which application you're trying to stream from. So Counter-Strike Go and then once you have that selected it will now show it in the source option. Once you, once you select that you'll see the window come up hit OK and you're pretty much good to go from here. Um, you can adjust the size of the window depending on you know if you have any information down here or any information along the side which I actually don't know how to set up yet. Um, I haven't really bothered with that when I stream. I usually stream full screen and I don't bother with uh, with all the other things. Um, so we're pretty much done from here but one thing that you need to focus on depending on your hardware capabilities is the in-game quality and in-game resolution. Even with the with the hardware that I have, I don't run the game at 5K. I actually run it at 2880 by something else. I can't remember exactly what it is. And even my video quality settings aren't set to max. Shadow, texture, detail, texture, texture, detail is all set to medium, just because it makes it um, easier for me to play the game, reduces the input lag, and in the end, I'll be able to play better and give my viewer a better um, end experience. So play around with your settings depending on your hardware's capabilities and see which one works best for you from here. Um, one other thing that I actually want to add on to this is if you want to uh, if you want to do a webcam capture just go ahead and click add again go down to video capture device name it webcam and uh, since I, since this is a Mac, um, it comes built in with a, with a camera, so I'm going to select that camera. And I've actually got it covered up because I'm camera shy. This is my first YouTube video, so we'll just leave my face out until an, until a, another video later on. And change the uh, change the quality or the resolution of that video of that video webcam capture to something lower. Um, it doesn't need to be uh, high resolution it might cause you more input lag so just reduce that it's no big deal um, and then hit OK and you've got that on top of your uh, on top of the game that you're trying to stream and if you look at your sources down here you can see webcam is above the whatever game you're trying to stream in this case Counter-Strike Go um, if I move this below that window will fall below Counter-Strike Go and or whatever you're capturing and then you won't be able to see it again. So bring it back up to the top and you'll be able to see it and your viewers will be able to see it as well. Uh, I think that's it for me. If anyone has any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I will try my best to address them in a timely manner and um, hopefully this will reduce the input lag issue for you and make your gaming experience and streaming experience a lot more fun. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope everyone uh, has a great day and happy gaming.